Hey guys, that's Marston back in the video. And today we are doing a brutal dirt bike crashes and tails, so let's go. Hey, there's nothing like getting down the fucking scrub and enjoy the serenity, is it? What the hell? Do a barrel roll, motherfucker. Whoa. Motherfucker. Come on, he's only got it. A stick stuck in his arm, right? No. RIP by Mmm. That's pretty good. It's fucking good. Oh, ow. Oh. Smoke bomb. What, what did he actually expect to fucking happen? The fucking kangaroo just ran in front of his fucking okay, bike. Dear. Okay. Oh no, fucking kangaroo. This is gonna end fucking bad. He's gonna go full of keys and stuff his fucking neck. It's fucking great. Fucking hell. Flip for day. Oh no. You right, bud? Oh no. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. How the fuck has me broke his fucking arm? Whoa, nice one. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Whoa, it's fucking loud. <laughs> I like when the fucking do all. Uh oh. Hi, son, how are you doing? You got... No, no. I go fucking what that is pretty useful. Sand dune. Fucking hell, no too. Oh she is. No. What did the camera on actually expect to fucking happen? Alright, let's fucking hold the boot. Launching your bird off the log. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fuck, 
fuerte. <laughs> That's like a fucking 70 degree angle. Oh. It's fucking old, man. Sorry about that, guys. What the fuck? Listen to the fucking serenity! <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I'm watching this video now. Sorry for the bad fucking quality 360 on this video. Pause this video at any time to read all this. This video contains footage of the collision, which some people may find distressing. I remember the day we got David's first motorbike. We bought it for him for his 16th birthday. And it was a few days before his birthday that we picked it up. It was a heap of a thing, really. And he was so excited. And we brought it home on the back of his dad's truck. And David was standing out on the... On Parking space, and he was jumping up and down, and excited. And that, that was just fabulous. That's a lovely, lovely memory. And I know Ken says that he wishes he's never bought him that first bike, but I honestly wouldn't have denied David his 22 years of riding pleasure. David was the most wonderful son. He was never a tear away. He never ever got into oh. trouble. Um, he was just polite, friendly kind, generous, had so much to give. And his friends describe him as a legend and a gentleman. He'd only come back from Antarctica um, at the end of February, so he'd only been back just over three months. He'd been away for 15 months working for the British Antarctic Survey. The day of the accident, he'd been to King's Lynn. He'd met up with some of his colleague, colleagues from Antarctica and some of his of UK friends, um, and they'd been to um, a race meet and a dirt quake, and he'd had a brilliant day. That sounds like a fucking dodge. I know he rode fast that day. He loved speed. He loved motorbikes. didn't see him and turned right across his path. David didn't have time to take evasive action. This isn't an easy thing to do, but I just hope that somebody benefits from it, that motorists slow down. They look before they turn to junctions. They think as a motorcyclist, yeah, he's going fast, what might he do? Motorcyclists think as a car driver, what might he do? Holy shit. No, 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 fuck. Nah. He's dead. He's just fucking dead. So 
you guys have seen this video, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.